Hi, y'all. Welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson five. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. But all we're doing is we're taking the length, multiplying it by the width, or we're counting how many blocks, basically, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four. That's 20, okay? This one, there's four by two, which is eight. But I have two rows of those, so that's going to be 16, okay? I have the 4 times the 8, but I have two of those rows, okay? So this one, if I slid this over one, it would just be a box like that one. So I'm going to do 3 across and 2, okay? Which gives us 6, okay? So this one, we would have, I'll do another color here. We would have our six there plus one, two, that's eight. Okay? All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks done. Okay, there's only one row of them, so you can just count the blocks. Okay? All right, so down here, we're going to count how many blocks on this one and then count how many blocks on this one and then just say which one is bigger. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four. Obviously, six is bigger. Okay, you guys do number eight. Okay, a carton can hold 1,000 unit cubes that measure one inch by one inch by one inch. Describe the dimensions of the carton using unit cubes. Okay, so. It holds a thousand unit cubes. If you guys will remember when you guys did your exponents, you're going to do one, two, three, ten to the third, okay? Which means ten by ten by ten. And that is the length, width, and height, okay? That would give us our one thousand, okay? Okay, so it would be, oh, 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches, okay? Okay. Peter uses unit cubes to build a figure in the shape of the letter X. What is the fewest unit cubes Peter can use to build the figure? Okay, well, let's do it. Okay, that's the smallest X that I can make, okay? So, that's one, two, three, four, five cubes. Okay, we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to go ahead and do the lesson check, just like always, and we're going to go down and do the star review, okay? It says, in what shape are the lateral faces of pyramids? Okay, so the lateral faces, those are the faces that go up. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether the base is a triangle or the base is a square, all of the, obviously I'm not an artist, all of the faces that fold up, the ones that are lateral, are going to be triangles. Okay, all right. The Arnold family arrived at the beach at 10.30 a.m. They spent three and three quarters of an hour there. What time do they leave the beach? Well, okay, so 10.30 to 11.30 is one hour, to 12.30 is two hours, and to 1.30, because it starts over after 12, or after, sorry, after, yeah, after 12, the next hour starts over at one. Okay, so there's one, two, three hours. Now another three quarters of an hour, okay? So I have to add on three quarters of an hour is 45 minutes, okay? Well, I can only get 30 minutes until I get to two o'clock, okay? But I still have 15 minutes left over. So I'm gonna add on that 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna have two 15. Okay, split that time up 
into whatever you need to get this. I did two quarters of an hour, which is 30, and then one quarter, which was 15, okay? So, 2.15 p.m. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. Complete the following statement. Right, sometimes, always, or never. The opposite sides of a parallelogram are blank congruent. Opposite sides. That's a parallelogram. Okay. Always. They are always congruent. Okay. A tire on Frank's bike moves 75 inches in one rotation. How many rotations will a tire have made after Frank rides 50 feet? Okay. Okay, so we need to turn feet into inches and then divide that by 75 to see how many. Okay, so 50 feet. When one foot is 12 inches. Remember, this is just the conversion. One foot is 12 inches. 12 inches is one foot. That's the same thing. Okay. So now I'm going to cross out feet. I'm left in inches. That's good. So now to do 50 times 12, well, I'm going to put the 12 on top because I'm just going to take that zero and put it on the end. And now five times two is 10. Carry the one. Five times one is five plus one more is six. So 600. Okay. So now I'm going to put the 600 in the box and 75 outside, okay? So I'm gonna use my handy dandy calculator just to find my multiples of 75. It is okay to use a calculator to find multiples, it's not okay ah, sorry, no. to use it to do your work, okay? So we have 75. We have 150. We have 225. We have 300. 375. 450. 525. And 600. Okay? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So, eight rotations. Okay, oh, sorry, y'all, you can't even see that. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 11.5. Come on back for 11.6. See you soon.